Hello everyone, this is Man in the Black Hat, and we're back for more Let's Play Game Story on ResoWalkthroughs.com. Into Jenka's house we go. You're the popular one. My dogs aren't very fond of troublemakers either. Really do appreciate all your hard work so far. Is it the warehouse key that you're after? Same warehouse, it contains all the red flower seeds in it. It doesn't matter to me who you are, understand? I can't give you the key to the warehouse. Sorry. Opening the warehouse, that would be foolishly allowing an encore of the same tragedy from before. One, two, three, and four. Only one more to go. Okay. So let's save. And go after that last little doggy. Yeah, I know, I should really be using the Polar Star instead of the machine gun, but damn it, it makes a really good makeshift rocket pack this early in the game. So, too bad, I'm gonna use it. Not even bothering with that bastard. Yeah. Die, 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 die. All of you die. All of you die a lot. But thank you. Yay, level up. This can get dangerous. And I go this way twice. Kill the birds as they come. Up. Remember, these are massive skill jumps if you go about it the normal way. And as you can see, it's incredibly dangerous to go through it the normal way. Without with the polar star rather than uh, the machine gun. So I'm sorry, but Curly Brace's machine gun works really well for this area and subsequent areas too. Die bird. Puppy! Yes! And. Uh, yeah, yeah. Save. Okay. We won't be going in that door just yet. And as you can see, in case you fall. I think you're actually spread out a bit. But... I care about that. I didn't want to get back. You go the hell away. Now, because I've cleared the way, I can just run! Casually, apparently. And machine gun my way back up. There we go. And that's the last dog. Yay! I'm the warehouse key. Alright then, see ya. Wait! Uh oh. Oh! It's you! Yay, dog. The key! The key of the warehouse was stolen by Balrog. Please stop them! They'll unleash, unleash rabid Mimiga, possessed by the red flower! Please take this with you! A life pot. Use it and your life will be fully restored, but just once. Yeah, so don't use it unnecessarily. There's a spot where it'll come in handy, but other than that... Just take the death and try again if you need to. Oh, and there. Ow! Sure. Well, let's just burn our way through here. Because really there's... Huh, 
nothing left for us with these monsters. Die, 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 die. Die a lot, die a lot. Back to the machine gun. Um, here we go. Uh -huh. And die. Now, I assume there's supposed to be some sort of pattern to going through here safely. Eh, bubble it. Bubble shield! Really effective against birds. Ow. And again, some rockets. Yeah, ow! Die, all of you die. For those of you who are wondering, yes, I'm finally back from my extended stay in Never Never Land. And I'm back to Let's Play now in Chula Vista. Which, for those of you who don't know, is in San Diego. So we save the game, in we go. Great doctor. All the red flower seeds have been harvested. Good. By the way, the flower is blooming there. Are they the demon flowers? Yes, sir. Well, well. Such an ominous flower, unexpected to say the least. My great doctor. Would you like to eat one? No, that won't be necessary. Well, why don't we sample it by using a Mimiga instead? Yes, I agree. Uh. Huh? Here? Ah. Hey, where are you going? Balrog, make her eat a red flower. Got it. Please don't. Eat it. Eat it. Stop now. Taroko, are you alright? King. Oh, my head. No! You're that doctor! Indeed. I am the doctor. And your new leader. I should say it's a pleasure to finally meet you. Tell me, is there something you'd like to do with that sword of yours? <laughs> I'm gonna kill you! Eh, no he's not. Without the power of the red flower, they're weak. Oh. You're that persistent soldier from the surface. You have perfect timing. They're all yours. A small gift to, from me to you. <laughs> There's no need for you to thank me. Handle them, will you? Oh, lovely. We get a boss fight in this turret. Whoa! Hi! She spits bricks. Ow! That spawn yellow flowers. Yellow flowers contain items that will increase. Ow! Your health. I am really not doing well this particular version of the boss fight. Drogo! Ow! Ow! Why am I not doing well? Oh, that's why. I'm forgetting to dodge! Ow. Damn it! Oh, ow! 
Yeah, this one looks like an abysmal failure. Not... Well, I might be able to pull it off. I hope against hope, right? Ow! Ow! Never mind. You have died. Retry time. Gets us back to the last save, which was right before now. Sigh. Yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna go through the dialogue a second time. So, yeah, Taroko, gonna die. King, gonna get his butt kicked. Yes, we finished moving into the new house. It's a very nice house. I like it. And hopefully, get my butt to San Diego Comic Con next year, because it'll be local. Yeep! Wow, that's effective. The machine gun is super effective. Ow, jerk. Ow, jerk. No. Wow! That works. Defeated Rabid Taroko. Well, crap. Ugh. I can't help you anymore. Will you avenge me? Well, that gives us a new weapon, the blade. And damn, that blows. Oh yeah! Sorry. <laughs> you were still alive. There was one back then too. A tough little robot like you. There'll be no end to this if we try to take you head on. I'm sending you to the labyrinth. And you, too. Eh? <laughs> that was refreshing. Ow, I've hit the ground. Well, you were thrown down here by the witch, Misery, too. Poor little guy. The island's junk is stored here. Once you're in here, you'll never be able to get out. No response. The switch for the door is supposed to be all the way up top, but the pudding's real bad. I've fallen so many times that I've broken my leg. Great. Fortunately, um, homeboy can't break his leg from a fall. And... I'm gonna have to do this the hard way. And at least until I get machine gun level 3. Uh, come on! Get down here, Dorito! Oh well. Hup. Hup. These little puff balls actually shoot at you. Hello, level 3! Yay, now we got our elevator. Nope. Nope. And die. Ah. Screw it. Going down. Get those Dorito chips. Full bag. That's what I need. Oh. I can cleverly ignore these bastards. Pop balls. Of doom. And restore some of my health on the way. As you can see, the machine gun. Oh, hello! Makes a really great way of getting up to areas easily. Otherwise, 
this would be a hell of a lot more difficult. I want to open the door. Yes. Now all we gotta do is fall out all the way down. Yay, saving. One more boss, and then I'll be about as far as I've ever been in this game. Yes, I know how to beat it. And I've seen it beat before, but I've never actually done it myself, because, well, I got bored. I get bored easily. Oh, crap. I get bored easily. Huh. Follow it out. Go for it. And jump. There we go. I think after I'm through this death trap, I'll call it a video. Because I really don't want to take on uh, the area boss until I'm ready. Until I'm ready and practiced. And with that, I'm going to use my PC version of Cave Story. And I might actually film that for posterity in case things go wrong. So, uh... I don't know, we'll see. We got some other ideas as well. This is a really good XP grinding area, by the way. Just in case you're curious. Okay. These guys won't hurt you. I want to eat Mimiga! What's that scent? I faintly smell Mimiga on you. It was ages ago. A witch lived alone in solitude here on this island. That witch would ultimately use her magic to create this labyrinth and confine us god-eye within. Now, if you still had the polar star, that guy behind the counter would give you an item. But I'm gonna miss out on that. Oh well. So as soon as we say, this is Man in the Black Hat, and I'll see you next time for more Cave Story. Later.